I thought oh, it was yeah. um, vanilla, whatchamacallit. Essence? Essence. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to find a place to put this that's flat. <laughs> it's um, heat proof. Hold on. Oh, I did make cocktails actually. Um, everyone's like, cocktail making stream when? Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. I'll do it. I maybe wanted, that yeah. we'll do we'll do another we'll do another cook along another make with Molly and or maybe you, yeah. we do a, a make with Thames and then you can we'll just make cocktails. Make well, yeah, Healthy. and the plan is I'd like to um I'd like to build a PC to have downstairs so I don't have to move my entire because if anyone doesn't know I move my entire setup downstairs, oh. which is a very big setup. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, that's one thing that we were going to talk about is the the appreciation that we have for that you doing this with us and you know a lot of people don't realize that we have a stream set up that's permanently in our kitchen but Thames and doesn't she moved her whole pc monitors every you know help help with alpha wolf pour of course as well but it's a lot of work and we really appreciate you doing it that's <laughs> okay um yeah the plan is to put make a pc down here so i can yep. keep it down here um, and it, like I've got most of the parts, mm -hmm. um, and then I can do more cooking streams or nice. you know things down on my t TV in my living room. Yep, <laughs> it's fine. You see, um, but yeah, that's on the the, the to do list. So maybe cocktail streams will be a thing in the future. Sounds maybe. good. Um, so I've just added a little pinch of salt, um, yep. an egg, the lemon juice, the, uh, vanilla. I just need to go and get some sweetener. Um, oh, yeah, egg. You're using stevia, is that right? Yes. Did I see? Yep. Oh, cool. uh, yes. Cool. That's what I got. I have other things, like I've got honey in my cupboard. I've got um, sugar-free maple syrup. I've got, I might have Argave syrup somewhere, but mm -hmm. I've got a big oh, bag good. of this and it's expensive, so why not? Oh, VR streams, I could do that. Aye. You know what? Every time I crack an egg, it reminds me of the time that you said crack the eggs on the bench. Yes. And I remember I cracked the egg on the bench. I and freaking it just love that when people say, when I go to do bench. something, I think of you, that something that like I've said. And I'm like, yes, I appreciate that. Except when I did it, the egg just sat nicely on the bench. Oh, no. And that's where it went. I do that. I was like, this is what you meant by cracking the, the egg on the bench. Yeah, where it just like you, you go to crack it and the crack, the egg just like falls apart and then it just yeah. like an egg, just like a a perfectly shaped egg just sitting on your bench yeah. and you've got to do this thing where you like put like a plate or something and then scoop it over really quickly and then slide yeah. it along your bench yeah I just realized how messy everything looks for I mean chat doesn't care but yeah it's very messy <laughs> <laughs> all right um let me just try and find um, so, I don't need cup. to beat the egg before I put it in just put it no. in put it in put it all in and, um, and like you said, um, uh, condensed milk, that's what my usual recipe is yeah. a mixture of condensed milk, cream cheese, and like lemon or whatever, or a little bit of sour cream, um, just to give, condensed milk is fantastic because it, it just adds a, like a nice lighter sweetness, like it's not too overwhelming, but you know, the, the calories in it are a lot higher than Yeah, I've, got a, I've had a few friends that have um, done protein cheesecakes. Um, lying around, but I haven't yeah. had a chance to um, look at them and have a crack at them, but they're usually like cottage cheese, protein powder. Um, yep. And like, I have, yeah, some crackers and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some cottage cheese um, in the fridge that I was actually thinking of trying this recipe out to see what it would be like, but I haven't got around to it yet. Yeah, yeah so that's all it is, it's trial and error and like substituting things out. Like I'd love to do it. Really. Say that again. Yeah, I'm uh, just substituting what like works and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it. Um, and yeah. like uh, things that I would usually use ricotta for, substituting that with cottage cheese and seeing like the results yeah. and what. Yeah, it's the, the fun about. Um, uh, and so you're good because you know like what each food does and what works. If you know what I mean, like sometimes you know that if you mix this ingredient, <laughs> but you know like how something would cook or something would. Mixed yeah. with other ingredients, whereas I'm like, I don't know, put it all together. Yep. <laughs> all right, we're just going to blend. Mm. 
in the cheesecake bottle. Um, and I think it was 260 calories per serve, by the way, for this. Um, Two hundred fifty-two calories per cheesecake. Now I'm done. I just realised I was here. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Welcome back. Sorry, I didn't, yet. Yeah, I was asking you questions and then I was like, why hasn't she replied to me? <laughs> um, so what is your calorie breakdown for the day um, with, you know, your meals and things like that? Um, what, when you say 200, 260 or whatever, you said for this? Yeah. Um, how, hey, could you fit that into a normal day? Like, is that, is yes. that seem good for you? For the, does that seem high? Like, what are your... Um, breakdowns i think for me it's like do i want to use 260 calories in my day for a cheesecake mm -hmm. like a little cheesecake um <laughs> but i mean everyone's on different calories depending on what they're trying to do are they trying to maintain yep. are they trying to lose fat are they trying to build muscle mm -hmm. um i've got a coach and he's worked mine out for me and yep. he does my macros so um like i said before the amount of carbs I have, the amount of protein I have, and the amount of fat I have is a certain amount every single mm -hmm. day. Yep. Um, I, I'm on 1,940 uh, 1, calories a day. Mm -hmm. The way I work it out is what's the food I enjoy? Like what's the one thing that's going to make me happy yep. to eat? Mm -hmm. um, so, oh, I just saw you got a raid. <laughs> I love Thank Ruby. You, Ruby. Um, I just... Yeah, so I love my nachos. So I'll have my nachos, yeah. my protein shake for dinner, yep. um, and I love my peanut butter on toast. So I mm -hmm. kind of like do my main meals, yep. and then I'll see what I have left over. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes it's some planning and stuff like that, and i got to yep. figure out, like, um, you know, how much protein do I need to fit in today first? Like, focus on my protein and slightly change it. And sometimes it's a bit overwhelming because I have to sit there on, like, my PC on the weekend. And, yep. But once you know what you want, it's only small changes and stuff like that. Yeah, and like um, like you said, it's about your non-negotiables and, and what, you know, yeah. that something nice that you get to wake up to and have yes. your peanut butter and toast before you go into a long day of work. Yeah. And then knowing that you, before stream, you've got your nachos that you're excited for. And then yes. it's working the other things around that. I think that's really yeah. a smart way to do it because you feel like yeah. you're excited about, you're not needing to change up and get rid of the things that you are excited about. Yeah, exactly. And like, um, I was going to say, and, and, and you know, if you're just getting into this sort of stuff, it's not about doing everything at once. It's just about like, yeah, what is, what is the meal that you really love every day and you don't want to give it up and it might yep. be like a pizza or something like that. So you just mm -hmm. get on Google and just look up like macro pizzas or low-calorie pizzas or whatever it is and yeah, you just, 100%. just healthy swaps. Yeah, and it's things like, you know, it's leading up to my birthday or something, I want to make a cake because I always make a cake or whatever. It's, it's making a swap yeah. and figuring out um, how that can fit into your, your macros and, and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, and eating less for like, if you know you're gonna have a big uh, go out for dinner, eat you eat less throughout the week so you can fit it in. Yeah. On the weekends yeah. and stuff like that. All right. Yeah. So welcome in, Ruby. Thank you for the raid. You're not interrupting. Really appreciate it. Thank you for bringing your community in. Um, so now just gonna grab your a spoon, like a large spoon, and you're just gonna divide the filling on top of your bases. <laughs> So unorganized. Where does this fit? This will work. Bring it this way, Ben. Huh? Bring it this way for the camera. Or they can only see what's below. Where the meat is. So this is the meat. <laughs> oh, my bench is so messy. <laughs> Such an alcoholic. <laughs> 
So we're making, for those that are just joining us, welcome. We are doing a cook along with the wonderful Tamsin. So we're making some uh, mini New York style cheesecakes right now. And then later we're gonna make, we're call, I'm calling it a seriously, like seriously good steak dinner. We're making some really nice steak with some low carb fries or wedges. And then we're gonna be making a chimichurri. So that's like a South American herb sauce for steak. It's amazing. So the recipes are linked um, there in chat. Um, have you ever had chimichurri before, Tam? Nope. <laughs> So it's like, gonna be something is. a little bit different. Um, yes. When you said you just like for a sauce or whatever, I just thought that it would be something different. That it's parsley heavy, which I, I'm hoping that you like. Um, yeah. It's kind of like a, a vinegary, um, garlicky. Do you like garlic? Yes. Yep. yep Good. Yep. Okay, we can be friends. I was, I was, I was unsure <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> I think I eat most things really. Yeah, because you were saying you don't really have any food aversions or allergies? No, I used to be allergic to mango when I was younger, but that was more like, you know when you were a kid and your parents would cut up the mango and you would just shove it in your face? Yeah. I would go bright red and rashes. Really? All over my face, yeah. So I used to just cut it up in the little cubes. Childhood ruined. Interesting. Hey. Yeah, that was my sub alert. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. oh that's Panther I didn't realize so good yeah, that's Panther. <laughs> heck yeah oh my god that's a thing um yeah. all right and a spoonful for me yes that's it I keep licking my finger because it's so good so these will um, rise and then, because we've beat it, beaten a little bit of air into the mixture, so it will yeah. rise and then it will eventually slightly like deflate. So don't be okay. worried. I was like, oh no, how much did I fill them up? No, 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 no don't, don't stress. Um, so, all so good. Fabulous. Now I'm like, oh no, my best is, best is messy? Well. Wow. My bench is messy and chat's probably looking at me going, you're a grot, Tamsin. No <laughs> like way. I guess that's a part of it. Part that of is the... a way of cooking streams. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. Thanks, Olka. Thank you. You're legend. All right. <laughs> we don't have stream a full screen catalog. We're really sorry. We don't have a full screen catalog. We'll have to get a picture of Panther in. <laughs> yeah, here, see, all right so pop them into the oven and i will set yep. a timer we're gonna go for about 15 minutes okay hey google set timer for 15 minutes 15 minutes starting now nice all right so i'm gonna make a quick drink yeah um so would you say for you, are you a bigger fan of like vodka, gin, tequila? Uh, definitely vodka. Yeah. Than anything else. Yeah. I haven't, um, I haven't got on the gin train yet, but okay. I think that's because as a child, my mum used to have gin and tonic and I hate the tonic. Oh, um, okay. I don't like the bit, that real bitterness. Bitter flavor. Yep. Yeah. Like I like bitters, but not, not that bitter. Yep. I get you. Tonic um, is, is something that you get used to. I never hated tonic water for such a long time. And my mum's yeah. the same, but my mum hated, she drank a lot of gin, um, a lot of gin, but um, she always did it gin and, gin and lemonade. Um, yeah. So she yeah, still to this day, on. she'll drink like a, a gin and lemonade in a tall glass. Or yeah. my introduction to drinking was lemon lime bitters with gin. So, oh, okay, yeah, it's good, it's really good. Like, a bartenders will look at you and be like, with gin, and like, yes, with gin, man. Um, it's really tasty. So, um, but I love now, I, I love bitter flavor, like, I love um, uh, grapefruit, like, grapefruit peel, tonic, things yeah. like that, whereas exceeds, not a huge fan. 
Yeah. Um, no, I like my espresso martinis or... Yes. Um, where else did you get? Espresso martinis, amaretto sours, a mojito that wasn't too good. Do you like a margarita? Yeah, a margarita. Margarita. Nice. Um, okay, so I'm I my, I drink more tequila, and I know that sounds like a, a huge alco, but I just find <laughs> that because I get um, I have a sensitivity to alcohol that I get a headache really quickly, uh, yeah, more so yeah. with wine. Um, but tequila yeah. gives me less of a headache. But um, before we go out, if I know I'll be drinking or quickly after, I will always have like a nurofen or a anti-inflammatory yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, because it's very, very strange. Usually, like, if I'm having a glass of wine, within five minutes exceed, like 10 minutes, I'll just have, like, a... a, a really? Warmth, a really weird warmth that will go through, like, my legs and my knees will start to hurt. And oh, wow. I get a headache and, like, a, real, a weird flushing feeling. It's really strange. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, it is. But, I, like, then you keep drinking and then it goes away, but... It goes away and you um, really, yeah. Yeah. Um, so my thing is a gin and lemon, a gin and tonic with elderflower. Yep. Um, and then usually like a, um, a slice of like cucumber and orange if I'm feeling fancy. But oh. I'm trying to find, the, the thing is, is that the high sugar content with your elderflower syrup. So I'm, I don't know where to get like a sugar-free elderflower syrup from, but oh. the only... Down yeah, I, isn't it like a lot of the preservatives and stuff make you give you headaches and stuff like that? I think so. Yeah. Um, my grandma says that she has an, uh, a sensitivity to it, um, uh, sulfur and yeah. preservatives. But it's one of those things. Not being nasty to my grandma, but she we pull the piss out of her because it's a bit annoying. Um, but I, th I think to some degree I have that sensitivity, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't, shouldn't um, make fun of her. Yes. Um, All right. I'm like partying at the same time. So. Oh, I need the sweetness too. So. All right. What we're nah. eating is the steak. What we're going to do is we're going to season it first. We're not going to cook it now. We're going to cook it in probably like half an hour, um, 45 minutes. But one of the biggest things is seasoning it, seasoning it effectively. Um, yep. What is your feeling on salt? Uh, I don't mind a bit of salt. Good. If you don't okay. have enough salt in your diet, you get leg cramps in the middle of the night and they're really painful. Yes. So one of the biggest things is that's what when I was talking about this at the start of the stream, I was like one of the things that a lot of home cooks don't do that they do in a restaurant, and that's why it doesn't taste as good, is chefs heavily, heavily salt meat. And that's why your steak, uh, okay. you need to add a lot of pepper um, if, you, if you like, but mainly it's salt. Because what's going to happen is, I've just been reading this the last week, learning about um, oh. steak, is... You put salt on top of your meat. Um, initially, what it will do is it draws the moisture out of the meat. And then um, yeah. that's what happens with pork, where we want to do that to like pat dry the skin to make the pork go crispy and crunchy on the other crackle. But oh, if you okay. leave it there, it's actually, um, it draws the moisture and the salt back into the meat. And that's what makes it so much more flavorful. So you want to season it, like some people say, like for at least 45 minutes up to mm -hmm. 10 to 12 hours. But I, I, I'm not that, if, you, if you've been around my stream, I am what I call as a lazy cook, where I yeah. do cut corners when I can and I, I don't have much pre-thought. I like to just do things as yeah. when I feel like it. Um, but one of the big things is, yeah, within, um, you want to at least 45 minutes, season your meat, pop it back in the fridge because uh, the long, if you leave it out at room temperature, the bacteria um, grows. That's, and yeah. because we're making steak, um, we're not cooking like a, anything larger than four centimetres 
um, you want to sear on in the fry pan and then finish in the oven. But oven, a lot yeah. of people say that bring your steak to room temperature because it cooks evenly. It's actually not true. And you're actually keeping, by keeping it at room temperature, you're harboring the bacteria and you can actually, um, you know, it's, you're in the danger zone. What yeah, they say. yeah, yeah, yeah. So all you want to do, I can peel this Actually, off. I really want to weigh these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. and see. And if you want to trim them, the trim the fat off the as fat, well. Yeah. You can definitely do that. Um, can you use another chopping board? Um, it's actually, I, there's a guy that I watch. I don't really watch him. I watch his wife more. Uh, she, she's named um, Jacelyn Hill. She's a beauty YouTuber. Mm -hmm. um, and her partner, um, her partner's called like More Seasoning, I think, on YouTube. Okay. Um, I, I don't know how big he is, but he always harps on about like, yeah, the temperatures of, and how to perfectly cook a steak and perfectly mm -hmm. cook a chicken and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. He actually helps on about a Bluetooth um, thermometer to put in your food yep. in the oven mm -hmm. and it connects to your phone and stuff like that. He said that's the best way to do it. Yeah, one Thermom of the best things um, if you are wanting to learn about cooking meat and you're feeling a little bit unsure, especially mm -hmm. with chicken or seafood, about the doneness. Um, it is something that as you cook meat more often, you know the visual cues, what to look for, what to feel for, but to set you off for success, especially with larger meats and steaks and things. The Bluetooth, or well, the thermometers are fantastic. I've just yeah. bought one from Aldi, which I can't even find. Um, so this was 10 bucks. I haven't got an opportunity to use it yet, probably because I can't even find it. Um, I also think I just realized I didn't turn my oven on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what, you what? I don't know, my oven wasn't on. I was like, wait, my oven's not on. <laughs> But didn't, weren't you cooking the cheesecake? I thought I was, but apparently I wasn't. <laughs> so uh, I just put on my time in 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that bad, okay. I know something was going to go wrong, but that wasn't that bad. It's all good. It's all good. The it, that's it, that's it. Very true. <laughs> it's all good. We got time, guys. We got time. Um, <laughs> so wait, what happened when you put the the base in before uh i think when i took it out i just my automatic is turn off the turn oven. off yeah like i whenever, yeah i usually I like that okay out. cool at least the oven was warm then it's all good yeah yeah warm, but it just wasn't on. Um. all right anyway no stress no <laughs> stress so yeah if you want to trim off the fat of your steak um you can do that now yeah, or you, you can do it after yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Is it probably better to do it after or it doesn't really make a difference? Yeah, so what's going to happen is the fat will start to break down and like it, it starts to kind of melt down in the pan and it mm. can rebaste the, um, the meat. But it also insulates the meat from too much moisture loss. So I'm always yeah. on the air of I do it after rather than before. 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 Um, because you, you ended up with like a drier steak. But yeah. if you're wanting to uh, weigh it, it's up to you. Because you can always weigh yeah. it. Do you weigh before and after, after you've cooked? Um, it depends really just what you put into the plant, into the MyFitnessPal. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Like for this, I looked up Woolworths um, Porterhouse steak and it would be doing the raw weight more than likely than the... Yeah, okay. Um, so... It's just more for my own interest than anything yeah. else. Okay. Um, Ixi just told me my measuring thing is here. Okay. So this is, Tam, if you're interested, this is from Aldi. It was $10. And it, it's kind of a little bit of an intro into thermometers for me. Because um, we bought yeah. one for my stepdad, which was like this, but it's that Matador brand, like the barbecue brand, and it's amazing. It's got an app and stuff. But yeah. me being, for, I'll buy that for someone else, but then me being stingy, Not I'll buy yourself. the $10 version for myself. Because <laughs> yeah. um, I'm like, I don't know if I'll use it. So basically you somehow, oh, here. Um, so you can choose between uh, if it's fish, 
beef, lamb, veal, hamburger, pork, turkey, chicken, whatever. And then you can do like the cooking temperature, what um, what you want to cook it at and what we will alert at. Yeah. And you just put this probe. The probe can uh, go in the oven and so you can have this outside, like you can put it on the bench and then have it cooking. Oh, yeah, just... Oh, yeah. So it just gives you that peace of mind if you're unsure and you're worried about cooking meat. Um, it just gives you that peace of mind that you don't have to keep opening the oven and then cutting yeah, it open. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I would usually use this if it was like if I was cooking roast or um, cooking like brisket on the barbecue or whatever, I didn't have to keep mm -hmm. opening the oven and, and disturbing the temperature. Um, yeah. But what I'm going to show you with some tip, like how to know when your steak is done and we'll go through that yeah. in, a, in a few minutes, which yep. some simple Everyone's stuff. Everyone's laughing because Panther's like, oh, right on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the meat. I don't usually give him meat. I only give him like a bit of chicken. Um, oh, I'm give him a bit of this. Um, I usually do this thing. It sounds so silly, but mm. like if I'm cutting up chicken and I give him a bit of chicken, mm. I'll show my hands and I'll go, there's no more left. So he knows that he's not going to get any food afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We so have like, to do that with Romeo especially. And be like, yeah. it's all gone. Like there's nothing, there's no more treats. Yeah. There's nothing here. Like go away. Or I let him smell my fingers sometimes because it's yeah. that exact thing. Like he doesn't trust me. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's to. like, if he doesn't get anything afterwards, he knows that that's the sign that I'm not going to get any more food. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> See, I am, we talk about this quite often because I am not, a, it's not that I'm not a cat person. I've just never just owned a cat. No, the webcam's so, moving. <laughs> that's all good. It's um, fine. I've never fine. owned a cat. So I don't really yeah. know, like there's so much that is alien or cat so different to me about cats. Yeah. And like, I'll just ask a question of like, and, and chat will just think I'm crazy. I'm like, do they do this? So I, like, I didn't know. <laughs> do you feed like meat or chicken and stuff to cats compared to like fish? <laughs> yeah. Is that, what, what is his like usual diet? Well, um, I feed him, he's on prescription food. So he's on medicine yep. essentially because he is a bit um, stressy. He mm. gets anxiety and had urinary issues because he had anxiety. Okay. Um, but he's okay now, but I just keep him on him. So he has a bit of bickies, and then at night time he has a whole can of wet food, essentially. Like, wet food's supposed to be better for cats. Mm -hmm. But like I say, if I open the cheese, if I open chicken, he comes out of wherever he's hiding yep. to ask for some. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll give him, like, the smallest bit, like one slice of grated cheese. Sort of yeah. Thing, or, like, the smallest bit of raw. Because people also say that cats aren't supposed to have raw chicken. Um, okay. Because of the bacteria? Or... Yeah, yeah. Because it's not the same as, like, killing an animal and eating it there on the mm. spot. I think that's why yeah. I don't know exactly, but okay. I don't feed him a lot. Um, you better off cooking it and stuff like that. Well, our, like our dogs everyone, everyone has different opinions. Everything. Yeah. And that's the thing. Yeah. You've got to do what's right for you. Like our dogs eat yeah. anything and everything. Um, growing up, we were lived on um, like on a farm and so our dogs yeah. ate whatever. And my parents would still say like, you know, you told, Hey Google, stop not to feed dogs chocolate and whatever like growing up my yeah. dogs ate whatever and so I remember them getting into like easter eggs and stuff and they always I think it's more milk <gasps> yeah. chocolate but they they they, they lived and so, yeah they survived yeah and the dogs just eat whatever's around so like if you have a, a bicky or a cookie or whatever and like the dogs some. will have like a little nibble or whatever like we don't really yep. probably the biggest thing is it's like nuts, definitely like xylitol yeah. or anything. Like we make sure that we Peanut don't leave butter, yeah. chewies or, or anything that has artificial sugars around just in case. Um, but they, they're terrors. They, yeah. they don't really get into anything, but if you leave like right now, the treat drawer in our buffet is like open like this much. Romeo yeah. is too short to see, but Chester will get his nose in there and open it up <laughs> and then try and get the treats. Even though he's not food orientated, he is yeah, treat orientated. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just funny how different pets do different things. They do that. They're sneaky. They probably act as a team as well and help yeah, each other yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is what kind of salt do you have? Do you have like a, a granulated salt or a grinder? Um, I just have Himalayan grinded salt. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, do you have one that's kind of like it, you can un 
make it finer and... Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. No, so, I don't think so. Yeah, so the, the, um, the silver thing at the top, you just want to yeah. unwind that and because that will make it um, coarser. And so you just want like a little bit of a chunkier salt. They're just it's, it's easier to, the finer salt, you, you will over season it, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. So the little How silver thing, the little silver thing yeah, right I on the top. I oh, think it yeah. just, pulls, it just <laughs> makes it come off. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't matter. So you just want to do, um, let's go with, I'll do this as well. So let's go with one, two, three, four, five, Six, six per per piece. Yep. Two, three, four. Let's go two, two more. So yeah. eight all together. <laughs> Fabulous. And then pepper. Um, if you're a pepper Great fan, that. do quite a bit. Yeah, Panther's still hanging around somewhere. Oh. These are huge steaks, so we probably. Exceed now probably one. 185 eat. to 175 grams each. Um, without the fat. I was gonna keep the other fat on and have one of each, but then um it wrapped around the whole entire steak. So oh, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just easier. <laughs> Alright. Um so now flip it over and we're gonna do the other side. Did you put something on sauce or something on yours or nope, just salt. Yours just really juicy. Yeah, it's just a little bit juicy. It's been vacuum sealed, so it just looks a bit yeah. wetter. Yum, 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 yum. Science to the counting. Two, three. Oh, yeah. So once I was streaming and I um, bought a pizza and yeah. I kind of had it to my right side on my L-shaped desk and I wasn't really like... I don't know, I was just there. I wasn't paying attention. And Panther came in and took a piece of pizza. A whole piece? <laughs> yeah, he just like grabbed it and like jumped off the table. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's my pizza. He's sneaky. He's gotten worse as he gets older, too. Yeah. Um, before, he was really good. Um, now, he, he just tests the water so much more. Like, yep. the other day, I put down my nachos and my protein shake. And within two seconds, his face was in my protein shake licking it. And I was like, excuse me. Oh my Sir. god! Um, Exceed did actually say to me he was like, "Our life," because we've talked about getting a cat. He said our life yeah. would change so much because we, like, after a cooking stream or whatever, we'll I'll leave out all of the mess, but we'll cover the food and we'll leave it like yeah. with like a fly cover or whatever, and I'll go and sit down for like half an hour or whatever, or yeah, yeah. we'll leave stuff out and. He was like, we can if we had a cat, we cannot do that. Can't do that. Like yeah, the, yeah. the cat will get in everything, jump on the bench. Yeah. It's only because we yeah. have dogs that we can do that because the dogs won't get into yeah. anything. He was like, cats oh, yeah. will like, they'll lift stuff up. They'll get into stuff. They'll uh -huh. get into drawers. He goes, My like, sister's it, cat used to eat the bread as well. So really? if you left like a loaf of bread on the bench, you'd have little bite marks in the corner of the plastic. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. That's so funny. They're funny. Oh, wow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just cover that however you want and then just pop it back in the fridge. I'll get more bum, 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 bum. So if your oh, family always had cats? Yeah, um, yeah, we've had some dogs, um, but mainly growing up I had cats and he kind of fell into my lap, but I've always been a cat person over a dog. I've had dogs as well, but yeah, all cats. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to take Next. my little cheesecakes out. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine's still going. You're still going. You've probably got a few more minutes. Um, Camera's fine. All right. <laughs> I have three minutes left, I think, on mine. Okay. Oh, they're going brown, though. Nice. So it looks like that. And basic, oh, I just need to clean my camera. Um, yeah, top of mine are getting brown, so just. Yeah, okay. Um, turn it down, Smidge. Just turn down the, yep. Perfect. Yeah. Um, do we need to check that your fridge is turned on? <laughs> uh, door shut, we're all good. I love this fridge. It's a uh, Electrolux, um, which is like one up for a 
Westinghouse, I think. Yeah, so like, they're and both the same like, brand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. but it's just like a, so much space. It's just nothing crazy. I can't, you can't see it really, but it's just a just normal a double one. But it spent me ages to buy. I finally got to buy my own fridge. You know, like mm. it was one of those such an life things that you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you got yours for your birthday as well, I think. I did. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was just saying to exceed just this week that how much I love it that it's just got so much room in it. Um, because mm-hmm. we had for such a long time with the stream, we were like, um, the freezers at the bottom, but then the fridge was on the top and you're stacking yeah. things on top of each other or, yeah. um, but now we have the section on the bottom that if we have a big stream or whatever, we can move it from a freezer to a fridge and that oh, you can, yeah. it's got like this That's flexi cool. zone and it's really, yeah. really cool just to know that the option is there if we have a lot of stuff or we have people, especially at Christmas, if we were hosting Christmas, you can put a lot of stuff in there and, um, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I hate when people buy all these fridges that look cool, but there's no space in them. And even if they're like, yeah, it's Not got all functional. these liters and you're like, no, this isn't like yeah. enough. <laughs> yep. And it's got a wine rack in it as well. Oh, and fancy. I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> So this is just what I just wanted to show you is it's slightly yeah. like it pulls away from the sides. Um, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to press it on top and it's soft, but it's firm. Like it's firmer. Yeah. Then you know that it's cooked. Mm, right. Okay. Hopefully mine's okay. I don't want them to burn. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be good. Fan force is a bit strong. Yeah, that's just the way that, and every oven, like that's the, the annoying thing that every time you move, like within a rental, you're, you have to spend like a few months getting to know that oven and how yeah. it cooks. Yeah. <clears throat> um, two fridge life is where it's at. We have our old fridge outside and it's unplugged, but we eventually, I plan to maybe put it in the, the garage. But then it's like I have, have the more to... fridges, the higher the electricity bill is. That's the thing. That's what I know that XC will be like, no way, we're not plugging in another fridge. Too much electricity. Um, but it would be nice to have like a wine fridge or um, I do what I would love is like a, a cheese fridge or a, um, a fermenting fridge. Like um, so oh. you can do cured meats or you could do cheeses and things like that. That's my dream to be able to have one of them so I can make cheese on stream and then age it for a few months. That would be the nice. Okay. Bye. How's it looking? Hey, See that, that was good. <laughs> Perfect. No, that'll be fine. That's completely fine. Yeah. Then, um, you can always like take that off, but I, I like it. it adds character. I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like jelly. Good yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So just let them sit aside for, a, we'll probably do like five minutes yep. and then we'll pop them in the freezer to make them really cold quickly but usually you want to refrigerate them for at least three to six hours so that they're nice and firm yeah. and good cold cheesecake um okay mm. so for the fries do you want to do fries yes. or do you want to do wedges do you care uh, i don't care i'd i'd be interested to yeah hear your opinion and yep um, How so do you what think I... they should be chopped? I'm sure there's a process for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am not as familiar with these potatoes, but I think they'll be completely fine. Um, they yeah. say all purpose, so they'll be the same. Um, well, somewhat similar. I'm going to use two trays because um, I'll probably do half of this bag, maybe. Um, but see how many you want to go with. We're... The recipe says, what did I write? Um, like two to three potatoes. So you probably, yeah. just, if you, depending on how many you're doing, um, one tray should be fine. Okay. okay. I'm pretty precious because I feel like licking my fingers into the bag. <laughs> so these are, for those that uh, don't know, never, seen these potatoes they're called spud light and they're low carb potatoes i'll read you their story spud light is a hundred percent natural product innovation from zarella fresh spud light is grown and packed under license in western australia heck yeah <laughs> um so basically they they have 25 less 25 uh, less carbs hey they're actually 
Men Mondogalup Road. I don't know what that is. Sounds familiar. Um, yes, yeah, so 25% less carbs than in comparison to other potatoes. They're a all-purpose cooking potato, so you should be able to do everything with them. Um, yes. And we're going to be making some chips. So I have both of the dogs here today. Um, this is Chester. Puppies. And Romeo is on the floor. He's only this big. He's too hard to be seen. All right, watch out. Good boy. Um, thank you, Exceed, for putting my knives away. Now, so these already so. look washed. So you don't need to wash them. I yes. am of the camp that I don't really care too much about washing yeah. most fruit and veggies. <laughs> but I know that freaks yeah. a lot of people out. So do as you wish. I, the I think Australia that, is a bit cleaner. Than yeah, the America. things that I do always wash is like lettuce, leek, things that grow in the ground yeah. that you know are going to have like dirt on them and that, that the sand that gets in your teeth. But majority oh, of fruit, yeah. um, too much to exceeds disgust. I'll eat like an apple or I'll eat like a stone fruit or whatever and I won't watch yeah, it, I don't same. care. And I'm just like, it's it's good bacteria, it's for, you know, it's gonna good help your immune system, but. Yeah, it's and any bugs are extra protein, right? Yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so with a nice sharp knife, what I'll show you to do Rip first is doing fries. And basically you wanna cut them into slices. So. Slices. Kind of, uh, what would you say? Maybe like a centimetre <gasps> thickness. Slices straight down. Do, do, do. I'm cut my fingers off. Yeah, be careful. Ta-da! Chatter like holding their breath. They're like, this is it. This is where she cuts her finger off. Yeah, guys, get your clipping fingers ready while she cuts her fingers off. Like Please don't do that. <laughs> cool. Cool breeze coming through on my beauty. Nice. Is your stream a PG stream? Um. Uh. Well, it, it's family friendly, but to the degree that, like, during the You've day, the button that it's family friendly. <laughs> yeah. During during the day, it's more family friendly, but in the evenings, it's more, you yeah. know, more non, I suppose, but not like. It, there's not a whole lot of swearing and not whole, stuff slips out and I'm a lot less guarded on an evening streams. Um, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. What about yourself? Um, yours, because yours is, yeah, no, like, I know that every time we raid you, it's, um, <laughs> every time we raid you, it's the mature warning, which is fine. Um, yeah. With, yeah, but, like, the, the more, it, it's it's hard because you want to... You want to be available for everybody and uh, create, provide content for, uh, you know, anybody and everybody. Yeah. But I'm not going to censor myself with things that I don't agree yeah. with or if things slip yeah. out or whatever. I'm not going to, you know, I, I, I swear a lot more in real life than I do on stream and I'm more professional yeah. on stream. But I'm not going to censor myself with certain things. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. um, it's more for... Um, but people might not understand like being a partner and sponsors and all that sort of stuff. That's the biggest thing. Like we have to think about is having that yeah. mature audience because certain brands will only want to sponsor or work with people that have mature audiences and stuff like that. There's a whole like other side to it, but yeah, 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 for sure. Like you said, it's, you know, do you want to take away who you are sort of thing? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and a yeah. lot of what we do with cooking wise, you know, we, we, there's not like occasionally we, we try and make sure the conversation topics are more family friendly like we don't like talking about politics and and things like that yeah um because people can get really heated and it's very opinionated and but we try and keep it cooking related but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um there's stuff where we you'd be a lot more jovial in the evenings i don't know there's just something about streaming to more of an australian audience there's i don't know that I was saying just to my family the other day of that streaming to Aussies who get to get Aussie the, humor. the humor, but also get you to a certain, like a, a different level where like you can talk about something that you grew up with and people know yeah. what you're, you're discussing yeah. and they get it and they yeah. can, you can have a conversation about your childhood or schooling or whatever. And yeah. 
it, it'd be something that everyone understands. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So what I now, want you so, to do, sorry, is just stack yes. up these. Continue. Oh, I was just going to say, I saw your like after dark. I mean, I saw the aesthetic for it. Um, so I was looking at your VODs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. That looks cool. Yeah, something a little bit different. Um, so what yeah. I want you to do is just um, the same, exactly the same technique, what you're doing a centimetre thickness, but we're just doing, we're creating strips now. Strips. Make that. Long strip, short strips, medium the, strips. The only thing that you need to remember when doing um, cutting oh, stuff like good. this, cutting vegetables is cutting um, meat is that it's going to, as it cooks, it loses moisture and then it loses size. So you'll find that yeah. you need it to be thicker and larger in size than what you want the result to be because then oh, um, yes. it's the same with like cook, making a, uh, a steak, making a hamburger patty, um, cooking meat for a stew. You want to do it yeah. about 30% bigger to then... Um, take into account the, the shrinkage that you're going to get. Got to remember the shrinkage, okay? The shrinkage. Um, I also weighed mine, and this is probably about 500 grams, if anyone's interested nice. in that. But, nice, nice, nice. Which is three potatoes-ish. Cool. Why is everyone stressing about me cutting? It's fine. They look good. <laughs> They're a bit wonky, but they got character. She'll be it's fine. Called. Um, okay, so then you want to just dump them on the tray. You can put them in a bowl, but I'm of the f like of the idea of that I don't like. If I can reduce dishes, then I, I'll definitely do that. <laughs> yeah. Because um, I I do enough dishes throughout the day that I don't want to add more if uh, I don't need to. Yeah. My dishwasher doesn't work. It's horrible. Can wash everything. Oh yeah. my god! Can can you? Well, get I don't have fixed? that many. It's just me, so yeah. Uh, probably, but it's a bit of effort. Plus, do you, it's a bit, I don't your know. house at the moment? Do you own the house or do you rent like renting? Ah, uh, renting, and it's just me at the moment, so yeah. But um, wouldn't it be something that your landlord would fix? Probably. Yeah, I've had them come fix it once. It, it just doesn't heat up as much. Dishes suck. Yeah. But then I feel like the amount of dishes I would put in aren't enough to warrant a dish. Yeah, um, I understand. A dishwasher. So. I'm getting cries at because Romeo wants chips. Um, okay, so the same thing with the potatoes. Just continue yeah, doing what you're doing. Um, those are some beautiful chips, Molly, but we don't need to hear about the shrinkage on the weekend. What? <laughs> it's winter. Things get cold around here. Okay. Mine are on the bacon. Oh, look at you. That's fast. Okay. I'll just hurry up. Um, no, I didn't so, know what you said. Do you want to get your spices <laughs> out? I need to tell you it's not the chips they're worried about. It's your fingers. Your fingers. They my worried. fingers are fine. They're still on my hands. They worried you're gonna chop your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> she needs those those uh, fingers to play to play games. Games. So at the moment, so you were playing a lot of Valorant, is that right? I think. Uh, Apex. Apex. That's it. For some reason. That's what I'm playing Valorant. a lot of at the moment. Yep, yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah. do you still uh play much of Destiny, or you kind of moved away for the moment? Uh, yeah, moved away for the moment. I jumped on the other day and I'll probably jump on again in the new season. I'm just, um, it's not enjoyable anymore. Yeah. I'm like on a big burnout. Like people have burnouts and I'm on like a extended holiday, mm. indefinitely I, burnout. I completely get it. Cause like you're doing things yeah. all the time and then some, especially with streaming, you feel like you have to do it because that's what you're you're known for yeah. that's what you're doing but you're like yeah. i want to do different things i want to like play around yeah and yeah then i think that we do things a little bit longer than we need to or that we want to and then you just yeah. like it creates an aversion to it yeah I'm, i've always been of the opinion to like if i'm not enjoying it i won't play it like i've always yeah. every time i've played destiny i've enjoyed it and if i don't want to if i get on it i'm not enjoying it i'll stop and i'll play something else like i've never nice. been 
that and like even throughout the years i've always like taken the leap and done variety streams every yep. now and then and you just have to um set your expectations differently and like mm-hmm. set your goals for your stream not to be um quantitative but maybe make them qualitative so like yep. when i do my diablo streams for example which i love doing you know once every three months um i'll go you know what today's not about viewers it's not about anything it's about like getting in having a good grind having a good stream and like having fun and if i can come out the other end of my stream feeling good then that's all that matters to me and that's like her stream i set that when i do things differently yeah um so yeah i've always done that over the years i think that's helped especially when i transitioned over to apex Mm -hmm. um it was quite a nice transition because i definitely play that a lot more now Um, just checking your oven is still on because i turned mine off Accidentally. I also turned mine off. <laughs> <laughs> what are we preheating it to? Um, See, so we want to go for probably 180 to 200. So, what have Wait. I written here? I said. It also depends on the thickness, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, sometimes if you go too high, so I err on the side of caution and I usually cook always at 180 because yeah. you risk burning before the actual the inside's cooked. So let's go yes. with 180. Because yeah. you can always turn it up and then it will go crunchier. Yeah. Hey, you've done all yours. I just did like three potatoes and that was it. <laughs> oh, I it's actually got, good. These cook really nice. No, I've still got, um, I've still got two left. Oh. I'm just slow. Yeah. They're good. Um, they cook nice in the air fryer too. I did... Um, yeah. If I'm going to have these, usually I just do a bit of oil, rosemary, salt and pepper, mix them up in a bowl and then put them in the air fryer. Nice. And that's nice, fine. Nice. But I don't have an air fryer at the moment, so. Oh, okay. Those are my old flatmates. I, was so about to I say, would like to get one eventually, but yep. yeah. Get to so that. always the way when, you lived with together for a few years, for a while? Uh, I had a flatmate for about six months previously, yeah. um, but before that I had another flatmate. We probably lived probably like a year and a half, I think. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. it's so. always the way when like, when we had housemates, when Exceed and I just got together, you know, yeah. someone buys something and then you just like, you just share. And yeah. then then when you separate, then it's, it's like a, a separation <laughs> and someone takes something and someone takes something else and yeah. Um, yeah. I've got like most of my stuff at the moment. Um, I'm big on not having too much stuff, even though I feel like I have too much stuff now, like especially like cooking things. Like, yeah. you know, you have an air fryer and a crock pot and a blender and a food processor and it all like adds up. Yep. So I don't, I, like I want one, but I also don't want to like add more shit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And it's so. just so easy with the cooking, cooking kind of industry there's always yeah. some new fan dangle piece yeah. of equipment that you, you're yeah. told that you need or you could could do whatever with. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what we're going to do is we need some garlic powder, some paprika, some cumin, um, and chili cayenne if you like. Yes. And salt. Like that. Is there oregano in that? Is there oregano no. as well? Garlic, oregano. Oh, that might cumin. be for the. You can add, yeah, you can add oregano if you want. No, no, I think that was just um, for something else. I'd pull oh, yeah, that's for the chimichurri. This, yeah, the yeah, that would sauce. Be it. <laughs> but you can add some if you want. Um, that's. Okay. okay. So, yeah. what you want to do. Is you can do this as I said before, like in a bowl, or you can just get messy with it. Oh yeah. Um. So let's go oh, you first. You got nice jars. Yeah, I've just in the process of reorganizing all my spices and stuff. So I bought these. I haven't got around to putting names on them yet. So I have Maybe to pick them up and yeah. then look at them to see what's in there. Smell them. Yeah, that's it. So garlic powder is, we're going to do, um, where am I looking? About half a teaspoon. You can add more if you yeah. want, like if you, if you like them a little bit, you know, more spiced. And then just yeah. kind of go over the top. Like that, because we're going to mix I was it like, all I together. just like literally putting it in a bowl and I was like, I'll just mix it all together. Yeah. So half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika. 
Shaman. Yep. Oh. oh, thank you, Fry, for my compliments on my fries. <laughs> They're the best cut fries I've ever done. Nice. And then a nice season of salt as well. might need oh shit what have I done Ugh. I think I put enough in I probably need a little bit more my go to this is my go to seasoning for a lot of um, kind of meats and things is garlic powder mm -hmm. cumin paprika um, chili of some sort like Chili. chili flakes um it just you know it's basically like a um taco seasoning mix you could think of it yeah but it goes good with yeah. everything like chicken um add it into um like a bolognese sauce as well it just it's so really really nice oh really mm. maybe we should do that for my um nachos yeah 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 i i want to make a um Fasada sauce is really, really low calorie. So when you're making like a spaghetti bolognese or something, if you're trying to make it low calorie, Fasada sauce is really good. Yes, yep. And so I was thinking of making like a red sauce um, chicken pasta. Because you get these really good like protein pastas too. Yeah. Um, in Woolies called, uh, from the brand Better. Yep. Um, but yeah, I wasn't thinking, I was trying to think, how do I like make Fasada sauce more interesting? Yep. You know? One of the big things with posada sauce is like um, uncooked tomatoes. So one thing that you can do which will make it a lot more flavorful is pop it in a saucepan and because there's natural sugars in the tomato is put yeah. it in a saucepan and let it simmer for like 30 minutes yeah. to like a few hours. And if you want to do yeah. it in bulk because you're making nachos all the time, just let yeah. that cook and it will just really enhance the, the tomato flavor. Oh. And it'll make it a lot richer. But then, yeah, yeah garlic okay. powder, cumin, paprika, chili, and it will just level it up. <laughs> Everyone's commenting on how much seasoning I put, uh, how much less seasoning I put on <laughs> compared to yeah. I was just like, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, um, I, I like a little bit more seasoned. <laughs> um, okay, so then... Um, my the oil, if you want, um, one of these things that you will probably love is you, you fill this up with oil as you want, and it's like an, a spray oil. Oh, so then you yes. can buy them at Woolies, and it's been fantastic because you just um, I use it for lining like cake tins and stuff, and it just adds like a a really fine spray of oil. I get in a lot of I get a lot of shit for not having much oil because I'm like oil is so much calories. So I'm like, I don't like to use much oil. So that would be good, actually. Because sometimes you need to use um, extra virgin olive oil over, yeah. like, because I have, um, like, the coconut oil spray. Mm, I just yeah, use yeah. that. But that's good for, like, just quick stuff you put in the fry pan. But some yeah. things need, like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. needs oil. Okay. Oh. Ah, there's so much oil! <laughs> <laughs> and then you just literally want to massage it, like, mix it so that everything is covered. That's why I said you could do this in a bowl if you wanted to. Yeah, I probably should have done it in a bowl, but it's just fine. Yeah. We're already here. It's okay. Just think of the dishes that I'm saving you. This is definitely going to be lightly lightly seasoned. Yeah. These and I just like my chips red, okay? Red and brown. Like, um... Nando's peri peri seasoning. Yeah. I love that mine are just like splattered all around and in terms of just like turn them and line them all up. You can tell that you're a financial planner. You just like <laughs> all your ducks in a row. Everything's organized. So what made you like, what made you go into financial planning? Were you financial always- Financial planning? Yeah, interested in like maths and, and you know, your finances. Nah. No? <laughs> nah? Okay. No, I um. I somehow, I think I put accounting as like my second elective for something and I somehow yeah. got put into that 
in high school yep. and not being like top of the class like mm, wow and all my stuff got sent to like to get marked and stuff by the head people or whatever for yeah end of school stuff um and I just, it was just easy i just found it easy um yep. so pop them finished, in the oven. i was like oh pop them in the oven yep um i found i was like well if i'm good at it and i don't hate it I should probably go do it at university. So I did accounting at university. Yeah. Um, worked at McDonald's head office for 18, no. Yeah, 18 months as an assist, as an intern, as an assistant accountant for a bit. Okay, um, question. Got so ta- intern, yes. is it different in Australia than it is in America? Did you get paid as an intern? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. I thought that was like a different. job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just a part-time American job, interns, essentially. Because like, you, pay, you work for a year for free. So. Yeah, no, I got paid for that. So um, I used to do like half in store as a manager and I would do half um, yes. up in Brisbane in the head office as an yeah. assistant accountant, yep. like a corporate accountant mm-hmm. uh, while, I was at, whilst I was at university. Oh, wow. And then graduated university, they couldn't give me full-time work. So I went and did tax accounting for three months. Mm-hmm. And then my mentor from high school is like, oh, I just became state manager of a big stockbroking firm in Australia. Would you like to be... Um, my associate slash office manager slash everything. So I was, it was 2012, I think I was 20. Yeah. And I became an assistant accountant and worked in stockbroking for four and a half years. Yep. Did my financial planning stuff and realized that I don't want to be a stockbroker. I want to be a financial planner. Yep. Um, and then made the leap and started looking for financial planning jobs and I've been stuck there ever since. So... Nice. I got a lot of pieces of paper that says I'm smart. <laughs> um, I wouldn't doubt. I like to yeah. say. Um, so yeah, I'm currently a. I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't say I'm a financial advisor or a financial planner. Financial planner. But plan, I, yeah. Pro- yeah, I'm qualified. Mm-hmm. Um, I just need to be um, an authorized rep under yep. a licensee. Once yep. I'm an or- once I'm authorized under a licensee. Um, I can call myself a financial planner and that's supposed to be happening soon. Um, it's just like essentially just talking to ASIC and applications and yeah, like okay. doing all the back end stuff to make it work because yep. unfortunately it's not as easy as just like saying, yeah, now I'm a financial planner. I have yeah, to like yeah. register and we have to pay all these fees and your professional indemnity insurance and yeah. So it's like blah, blah, basically blah. It like, cause as a nurse as well, it's not like you yeah. finish uni and you're, you're a nurse. It's like, the qualifications and then you've got to send that away mm. to say like proof of that you yeah. are qualified and, and pay the yearly registration yeah. fees and registration stuff like that. fee yeah. yeah i gotta join an organization which is going to cost me like 500 bucks and do nothing for me but you gotta do it <laughs> yeah um so yeah that's 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 the plan at the moment yeah. so Amazing. yeah it's good i do that full time and i yep. stream full time <laughs> yeah um so go to the gym yeah amazing you seem like you've and then you like your family and you know you've your sister just had a baby yes yes she's nearly two actually fuck off nearly two yeah really (laughs) holy shit i was like six months man no she's actually nearly two november 19th wow uh, 2020 that's gone so quick the last few years have just gone crazy wow yeah she actually fell down the stairs recently, so that was a bit of a sh- scare for my sister. Yeah, um, would be. Yeah, she like got through the baby gate and like 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 slid down the stairs. Luckily, she didn't tumble or anything. She just kind of slid down. Told like, my sister's anything, partner, like, yeah. yeah, ran and everything. And my sister, they took her to hospital to double check, but she was like, yep. my sister's like, I'm a bad mom. The scariest day of my mm. life. I'm like, this stuff's gonna happen. Like, you'll be yeah. okay. <laughs> and one of the things um, that. Um, I, when I was a nurse and we used to look after peds, which are like kids, is that kids are a lot more tolerant and they're a lot sturdier more than resilient. we think. Like more yeah. resilient than we think. Like, yeah. you know, you see these kids that have come in and they've lit, like their parents will bring them in and they've ran into like on their, you know, their push bike or something, they've run into like a brick yeah. wall. They, they're, yeah. they're so much stronger than you think, but it's a lot of the parents just want to be want to be like protective yeah protective and just cover their bases and get them checked out which you always should do but um, yeah exactly and kids heal so quickly as well because they're in Mm -hmm. that growth spurt but i can't imagine you know i I, yeah i can understand your sister just being really stressed and and, (laughs) and you never know until you're like 
a parent yourself as well. Like I'm not a parent. So like, I don't yeah. really know. Like kids would say, it's okay, it should be fine. But you don't yeah. really know until you're a parent. Yeah. What's it like being an auntie? Yeah. I like it. She's, yep. um, I've got two step nephews and nieces, but this is yeah. like my first blood. Like yep. one. Um, and yeah, she's awesome. She says Auntie Tammy now. I drove yep. up once and she goes, Tammy! I love it. And now every time my sister speaks to me on the phone, we have to FaceTime because she wants to grab the phone and yeah. put it up to her face and say hi to me and walk me around the house and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love it. One day, nice. yeah, I think that uh, I said to my brother and my sister-in-law, I was like, you guys can have kids. We're not sure if we want to have kids or yeah. when we have kids, there's no pressure. We're in the process of, you know, growing the stream and doing stuff yeah. at the moment with the that it's just not our time yet. And everyone yeah. has that kind of expectation as that, you know, when we got together, it's like, when are you getting married? When are you having yeah. kids and, and whatever? It's like there's, but I think it's becoming less so. Um, yeah, but which is I, nice. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, I think that um, I'd like to one day have some um, yeah. nieces and nephews first. It would be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Test the waters a little bit. Yeah. All right. So, um, so your um, cheesecake, is it in the fridge? Not no. yet. Yeah. Okay. So um, what like I'm going to do finish. is I'm just going to take one out. You can just have a look at yours as well. Take one out yeah. and see what they look like. I mean, yeah, they've gone down a bit. They're um... they firmer, like now that it's come out of the, yeah. as they've cooled. So, yeah. yeah. Basically, what I do is just lift it up like that. And then it's perfect. Oh, yeah. It's firm enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're all right. Nice. Mine don't look as good as yours, and mine are probably a bit more crumbly. But, oh, no, you know. so I was about to say that I've definitely – see how they're shine – like, you, it's, it's a bit shiny. I've overbuttered yeah. mine, um, which I was expect, expecting as well. Because what's going to happen is some of the excess <laughs> fat – so dodgy. <laughs> from your just, no, they look good. They look good. Hey, they look really good. I like, see, I like yours more than mine because I like like half the ratio to be like one to one. I don't like oh, as much one. cream cheese to base. Yeah. And you'll find that yours, are, like some of your ratio are different as well. Like you have yeah. some that are thicker and whatever. So just pop them in the fridge. Um, They're 250 calories per one, by the way. Yeah. Mm. Pretty good. Well, this is just me at the moment. My fridge is so messy. <laughs> <laughs> so everything goes wherever. Um, it's just Exceed and I and our house. We we have a dishwasher, so I think that it goes twenty four seven. Um, <laughs> and it's because I I work from home, like because my I full now that, like with stream I work full time on the stream. <coughs> And um, it's my job to like basically pack and unpack the dishwasher. So I'm not as good dishwasher. as I could, should, oh, sorry, dishwasher. I'm not as good yeah. as I could be or should be, but sometimes Ixie will unpack it. He will never pack it. He hates it, but he will unpack it so I can repack it. Unpack it. Um, yeah. He thinks that it makes the dishes smell. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, I would rather my dishes yeah. smell a little bit and be made, done for me than have to like re-wash yeah. them by hand so yeah. that they don't have a smell. I get the whole smell thing because I also don't like that smell when you mm. open it and it has a, yeah, smell to it. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Which I get it, yeah. <laughs> it needs to be really hot. That's what they need to be. They need to be so hot that you just, that they dry and then they don't smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I, you meant to like let them go and so that they cool down and all your dishes dry. Um, yeah. inside them, but I always just open yes. them up because I'm like, I need to get you out so I can get the, the new load in. And I'm just, hurry up, hurry up. All right, chippies are cooking. They're cooling. Um, we'll make the chimichurri. So I was thinking for this, you have a protein blender or you can just use the food processor again or something that, so you didn't have to do dishes. Uh, yeah. And um, a new bullet. Yeah, that's um, perfect. Perfect. So, um, I need to go outside and get some parsley from the garden. So, okay. 
Um, if you want, we can have a little break. If you want to talk to your community and chat. Oh yeah. If that works, and I will yeah. be, well, maybe like two minutes to three minutes. Yeah. Are you guys gonna mute me so your stream can't hear me? Um, or we can. I can maybe yes. mute myself. Yes. I think I can just... mute myself, right? I should be able to do it, shouldn't I? From the yeah. thingy thing. Or we can stay like this. It's up to you. And you can. I'll mute myself, and then you can talk to everybody. I can talk to everyone. Okay. Yeah. Let's do I'll that. I'll talk to everyone. Right. I'll talk to both I'll streams. We've got both chats up. See you soon. Go for it. <laughs> Bye. Um, thank you for the follow. I actually haven't been able to say thank you to anyone who's followed me, especially from Molly's stream, guys. Thank you so much. Um, or anything like that. Um, I don't even know. I can't even see. I can't see anything right now. So I can see chats and that's about it. <laughs> be wary of me. I you have to be wary of me. I'm having fun, Exceed. Thank you. I am. My back's a bit sore because I have this weird thing where I stand like sticking my chest out when I probably shouldn't. Um, but that's fine. I also smell, I smell like flowers. Um, I was going to try and pull up my dashboard so I can say thank you to people. But yeah, guys, thank you all the followers and everyone's come across. And um, please everyone go follow Molly. She's a fantastic streamer. Or her and Exceed, they have, they're a great team and they do a fantastic job. Molly thinks she's so fancy going out to a garden gathering herbs and she's some kind of mag magical Disney princess. And I just have my good old Woolies Continental Parsley. That's yeah <laughs> she comes back um uh, but yeah i hope you guys are having a great time um and if you enjoy this please let us know because we'll do more of it um i was saying before that for me to do this i had to like literally take everything downstairs so i am i've got most things for a stream a cooking stream for another sorry another pc um but i haven't done it yet so the plan is to build another pc so i don't have to move everything downstairs and have like a permanent little thing down here and then we could do cocktails and all sorts of stuff. Stream yeah, manager. Sounds good. Welcome back. All right. Uh, did someone call me a Disney princess? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Jay Fry did. Um, so um, we, we haven't like the, we've been focused on the kitchen that eventually I'd like to do some type of herb garden outside, but I couldn't not have certain herbs, so I literally just yeah. dug them into the ground and they're just growing um, sporadically randomly. Yeah, so, um, but I've just noticed oh that God. there's um, uh, caterpillars. Oh uh, no. Just, just got two. How well do you know your blades? Do you reckon this blade would work? <laughs> um, that's more for milling. For. But it would probably oh, okay. still chop. Caterpillars. I've got my normal one. I just, uh, I don't know if I want my protein shakes to taste like parsley. That's oh, all. yeah. Um, so what I would say is this is the if you one. wanted to use that, then um, just soak it overnight with um, some like vinegar, like put like li oh. literal vinegar. Um, in the yeah. container, turn it upside down. And I think that that's probably, will take out the garlic smell. Yeah. That's all good. But we can do this, like just chopping it really fine um, if you yes. wanted to. But I just like the, the, the blended texture. That's okay. It's up so to how you. much do I need? I've got a whole packet. So probably half the packet. Half the packet. I'm just taking the um, stems off. You want mainly like the the leaves um, and not the firmer stems. That one's a bit sad. Yeah, see my, <laughs> my hidden parsley up here, parsley here, no parsley here. The green screen. Um, okay. Do you think I need to kill the the caterpillars, or can they can just be in the bin? <laughs> Will they come back out? Yeah. Do you think they'll just it's come like out? Like when you and find like a spider, attack me in the sleep. Be like, why did you put me there? <laughs> Invasion of the caterpillars. Um, I mean, are they pests? Are they considered pests? I, I don't know. They're little and fluffy, and they look like they could hurt me. 
in my parsley. In I'll the bin, can, Miss Candy says in the bin is fine. Okay, cool. Spray Candy's them? like the mum of the stream. Okay, we always need need one. Need Once she made me mac and cheese, she's very good at cooking also. Once she made yeah. me mac and cheese and drove it all the way down from Brisbane to Gold Coast. Oh my god, that is. I mean, she was do, seeing life. a friend down here as well, but she came down and brought me food. Yeah. And uh, lasagna. Oh, that's nice. Do you know, I, for some reason, I always think you're in Sydney. I don't know why. We've <laughs> known each other for such a long time, and I always I <laughs> think that you're always in Sydney. I don't know why. Mm. So you, we were talking about your family before. So you, it's um, you and your sister? No, you have a brother too. Yeah. No. I have a half-brother and a step-brother. There we go. Yes. Nice. So my um, dad remarried both my mum's Leanne's. We married with another Leanne. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, and Love yeah, it. they had a kid together and she had a, a son already. So my stepbrother is 32, I'm 30, my sister's 29, and then my half-brother is 19. Yep, okay. Had to think about that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm putting this in the container. Yes, yep, put it in there and you just kind of like push it down, but not just enough. Like you don't want to pressurize it because then the blender, it doesn't like fall down, if that makes sense, into the blender. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I know that you, uh, I know your feelings of oil. So you only need, well, it says a third of a cup. Yes. If you don't well, want to use that is, much, right? you can use less. I did. I put all this into the um, my fitness pal. My fitness pal, but I split it into four, so it ends up being about seventy calories per serving. So if you only have a small serving yeah. of sauce, yeah, it's actually you only, not that you bad. only do only sense. have a little bit of the sauce anyway. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So add that in the oil in. Would you say a quarter of a cup? Uh, it's a third of a cup. Oh. Um. Two to, to three kitchen. garlic cloves. Yes. Depending on how garlicky you feel. Oh, question. Yes. You know how it's like a third of a cup is 80 mils. Does it end up being the same as similar to grams if you're going to gram it out? Uh, it's oil's a little bit different. Oil different. is lighter than water. Um, Makes so sense. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, Interesting. Because it's yeah. hard. Sometimes you can't put. Much yeah, it is really. It's really annoying because, outfit. and even like, um, it's dependent on. Uh, do you know this whole time I've been using these measuring jugs that I thought were yeah. Australian measuring jugs. Turns oh, out they no. were US measurements, and so I'm like, have to now. I have to go all o over for the new website that we're creating. I have to go through all of my recipes oh, no. and remake them to make sure that they're Australian, um, yeah. to make sure that the recipes actually work because yeah. I was under the assumption oh. that they were, because uh, for those that don't know, Australian cups are 250 grams and there's four cups per kilo um, or for per litre, sorry, whereas American cups are 240 mils. It's not a huge difference and a lot of the time... I, even with, with baking, it's not a huge difference um, because everything's in ratios. But yeah. just to, for myself, for that ease of mind when teaching people to cook, I want to set them up for success knowing that the I've tested the recipe enough times and I know that it's going to work for them. I would get yeah, stressed exactly. knowing that it's not going to, you know, that I, yeah. I have that doubt in my mind. But yeah. Yeah. Should be looking good. Cool. Um, also, I put in 80, because yeah, sorry, this is 80 mils, and I put that into my fitness pal. If you serve it into four, it's 176 cows, not 70, but that's what that's fine. You okay. don't have to like, I'm assuming this creates quite a lot. So it does, it, need, it makes quite a bit of, yeah. and sauce, and you only it might need, be into like to your preference, it might be, tablespoon. yeah, you might want a teaspoon of sauce. Cool? Yeah. Um, okay, so in there, we've got our parsley, garlic, olive oil. Um, we're going to add yeah. a little bit of the oregano. Yes. That's why I had oregano out. Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. Just 
just half a teaspoon. Chelsea, how much? Half a, oh, see, sorry, yes, half a teaspoon. And then finally, uh, one and a half tablespoons of red wine vinegar or a vinegar that you like. Um, red wine is more common, but if you have white wine, white wine or regular white vinegar, that's fine too. Just has like a slight um, sweetness. Oh, there it is. One and a half tablespoons? Yes, please. How do Americans say oregano? Oregano. Oregano. Uh, oregano. Oregano. That sounds weird. Oh, your basil? Apple cider vinegar? Uh, apple basil. cider vinegar works, yep. Yep, fantastic. Um, so yeah, your basil instead of basil. Basil. Er herbs. Herbs, yeah. You, you probably had this you're, conversation so many times on your stream. Um, <laughs> it's just it's just little things. Oh, I was talking, this is the conversation that I was talking about before about having a, like talking to an Australian audience in the evenings. I don't have to yeah. explain like capsicum <laughs> is also a bell pepper or cilantro is also coriander and, and little things like that. It doesn't bother yeah. me, but it's just, it just, when you're talking to people that know you, na like your native tongue. Yeah, um, yeah. We're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground pepper. pepper. And if you want some chili, you can add other chili flakes or some oh, yeah. chili as I actually got a whole chili. Okay, let's so start with a quarter before it blows your head off. <laughs> um, I never trust after five years of streaming and with our community who have made me eat like whole chilies and things like that you can never trust a chili the smaller ones you think that are going to be not as hot usually are the spiciest so i always will you can always add but you can never take away so i always err on the side of caution and i would probably go with like a um a quarter of that or a third of that and then you can always add yeah more. um Blow your what face up. chili is it? I can't even remember what chili it was. Cayenne, it looks like. Cayenne chili. They're usually the big ones. It was a medium spice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, I don't mind spice. Um, yeah. It's funny, mum picked it up and she was like holding it around in her hands at the shop. She said, mum, be careful, you'll probably rub your eyes. She's like, oh no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I know that you love nachos and Mexican, but is there a type of cuisine that you radiate towards? Like when you go out, like with friends or stuff, do you go to a, like a Mexican restaurant or do you like Chili. a little um, bit of anything Italian? I mean, I'm really open to anything. Um, it's hard here in Australia because I feel like it's just Italian's normal for us and like. Yeah. Mexicans, not but me. It's it's obviously Australian version of Mexican, but um, yeah, yep. Um, I love my chicken palmies. Yeah, which I'm gonna get shit for because I don't say parma. Oh no, we Palmy. we're palmies as well. Team palmy. Palmies. Um. Yeah, oh. I don't know. I just do whatever's easy, really. I mean, the Gold Coast we're spoiled for choice here. There is so much stuff. Hmm. So much. Um. There's always a new bar, a new restaurant, a new something opening. Something so you opening. just can't, it's more like, where am I close to? What's easy to get to? And then you find the best, the, the new hip opening restaurants um, in the area sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, um, guys, Tamsin lives on like the New York City of... Uh, you reckon? Of Queensland. Yeah, the Gold Coast <laughs> is always something going on and it's always... Yeah. Like there's always something and there's, you know stuff going on. I but love the hot. Gold Coast when we're there. But I cannot yeah, we're hot deal like, um, with your LA. humidity. It's not humid. I don't know what you're talking about. So bad. When did you Melbourne, come here? I think Gold Coast is better. Melbourne, like, sorry, um, Brisbane City, it was disgusting when we were there. Um, Maybe because like the city and all the buildings and stuff. Like yeah, that, I think like, that. And the heat from the... Um, uh, like the cars and yeah, everything like it just that. kind of radiates, yeah. Um, but I do, I do like Queensland. Um, Trackles in our chat says um, Queensland is more like Miami. 
yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm it's just about, like, like in relation to like things opening up and there'd be like a lot yeah. of stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. It's the tourist capital of Australia, essentially. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We don't got have to chop it. You can pop it directly into your blender. I know. I'm just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> just enjoying my chopping. That would yeah. make sense that you don't need to chop it up because it's a blender and it does that for you. But anyway. Sydney is poop. I hate Sydney. <laughs> No, I definitely... it's not that I don't like. I it's know. not that I I dislike Sydney, or I don't hate it. It's just I, I think it just it, it, there's a bee in my bonnet. I have a chip on my shoulder about everybody knowing Sydney, and there's so much to Australia, and like people fly all the way from all around the world, and they just go to Sydney, and like Sydney yeah. is so commercialized that it's not. Yeah. Australia like and yeah. you're not the, I think that there's just so much better places and I love I lived in Melbourne for a few years I love Gold Coast I love Perth and there's just so much to see but everyone just visits Sydney and they don't go yeah. out of the city and I yeah. just can't yeah. handle like I just don't I have a bee in my bonnet and like there's more to Australia than Sydney <laughs> um, but yeah it's yeah. very busy there we go. Um, oh, look how it just falls apart. I love that. The cloves just yeah. break apart like that. I, I usually just use jar, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get proper garlic for something different. But jars are good um, for convenience. Um, convenience, yeah. I, um, in a food swap, like, you know, with your, uh, I do online grocery shopping. And so sometimes yeah. when stuff isn't available, they just give you a substitution. So yeah. they gave me a jar of ginger paste. And it's so good, actually, because I usually freeze. Um, if you buy fresh ginger, um, yeah, the best thing to do is freeze it because it's easier to grow, yeah. but it also preserves it for longer. Um, oh, but the jar yeah. is been pretty good. The flavour is um, pretty similar, and it's it's fantastic for convenience. Yeah, yeah that's good. Then I probably should just use my jar stuff. But anyway, no, it's all good. It's two cloves of garlic. That's it. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna blend it. So it's, um, you can blend it so it's still a little bit chunky or you can blend it completely so it's like a green smoothie consistency. It's up to you. Okay, Oh, I got it. Before I flip it upside down, I should actually screw the lid on. That's good. I haven't used my neutral bullet for this, so this will be interesting. Yeah, maybe I'll just give you some new uses: cocktails and sauces. Some uses for your neutral. Except bullet. my um, the seal around the outside is coming off, and I've only had it for a little while too. And I'm like, well, maybe I should go take it. Take back. it back. Yeah. yeah. Like that's one thing that I've got a lot more comfortable with. I I do not like taking things back or contacting the the um, customer support or whatever, nine times yeah. out of 10, they either send you a replacement part or we've had such great success with Kogan. We've bought an ice mm. machine. We've bought um, LED, like our um, kitchen downlights uh, yeah. from Kogan. And we just said yeah. we had an issue with them. They were like, throw it out. We'll send you a re completely replacement. Oh, that's good. It's been amazing. Yeah. And that's just so what you want because you're more inclined to... to um, to shop there again and you've shop just there got again, essentially you have that yeah. confidence that the product is fresh and brand new rather than it's not uh -huh. damaged yeah yeah right. okay oh. <laughs> gonna mute you i muted us both i think no There we go. Nice. That looks good. That looks okay. It's a bit chunky. But you yeah, so just blend it chunky. again if you... Mine's a bit chunky in here. Oh, yours is like it's creamy. So mine will look like this because of all the olive oil that I've got in there. Um, oh. oh and it will, yours will be the same. It just It's like an emulsion um, that's been created. But once it sits there, it's like it's gone foamy. 
and then it will yeah. like um go normal. Maybe I should blend mine more. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's blend it more. Ba, 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 ba. Can we do a poll for chunky garlic, minced garlic, puree garlic, garlic, powdered garlic, and no garlic? Yeah, that was perfect, Tim. More blending. It smells, it smells vinegary, actually. That's what it smells like. Yeah, so what will happen is give it a taste now to see what you think. It will yeah. be quite vinegar heavy. But the longer that you let it sit there, the acid will then react with the garlic to then, um, like, the, all the flavours will mellow and blend into each other. I always freak out when I make this and I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't taste as good or it's not, you know, blended and the recipe's wrong. Yeah. But then it's always, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour down the track. You're like, oh my God, it's so good. You just kind of really have to trust the process. Yeah, no, it smells, um, it actually doesn't taste too bad as is, to be honest. Yeah, so you can always add, um, also add a little bit of stevia or honey in there and it will balance out Just the flavours a little bit more to your preference. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And this is good with, chimichurri is fantastic with meat. Um, yeah. Empanadas, which are like pasties, um, South American pasties or food that is really oily or like rich <laughs> because it really cuts through, like the acid really yeah. cuts through all the flavor. It will be really good with the fries as well. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. All right. Now I'm like, what am I gonna do with my chilies? Eat them. Um, Eat them. Just bite yeah. into one, hey? Yeah, yeah you can just- $100 donation. You can just put them in your na na nachos. Yeah, actually. But do you like the flavor? Does it taste all right to you? Yeah, tastes fine yeah. actually. Tastes fine or nice? No, it tastes nice. Okay, yes. cool. I just want to make sure. I, I just have this thing with certain words where- like, Oh yeah, like, you're like, oh, nice doesn't mean good. Like, yeah. like connotations to like certain words where when people say fine, I, I just want like people say, some people say fine where it's like, bit. oh, fine. Like I'm okay, I'm fine. Where it's like a negative yeah. thing, and I like I always like to check if they're, if you're like people are saying it like they, they think it's okay or they're it's fine like it's n not really good. Yeah. So, I said hundred dollars to bite the chili, not to eat the chili. Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll check on the chippies. I just wanted yeah, them to done. be. They done. Yeah. Well, they. Oven's off. Okay. Um. So you can do them as, like, cook them longer if you want them crispier. Or whatever. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Pretty good. Like that. How are yours looking? Are they crispy? Uh, they're not crispy necessarily. They're um. Oh my god, they're hot. Yeah. Do you want but them to cook? Do you want to cook them for longer? Um, well, I'm happy with this. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna put mine in for a little bit longer. See, I'm so it. easy going. I'm like, yeah, they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, fine. They're good. Now, we're okay, going to put them in for longer. I want you to have them crispier. Okay. So, but that means, but it gives me a time that like, are they, are they soft? Are, are they like cooked? And then we they're just like, need to go them. They're soft, yeah. Cool. So that means they're cooked. So then all we need to do is we'll put them in for a higher temperature, like 200 degrees, just to crisp yeah. them up now. And now it's yeah. okay for us to continue with the steak. Okay. But before we do the steak, we'll do the sauce for the cheesecake. So then the steak is the final thing we do, I think. Okay. You okay with that? Yes. Yeah, I'll start. Just, um, I just like the steak to then space. be the last thing that you do because then you can sit down and eat and it'd be warm. Yes. I'm very conscious Chill out. <laughs> leaving you with a nice warm steak and a nice dinner that you, you can. Oh, yes. Yes. 
All right. Um, so you need just a little saucepan. Once you, once we, like if you need a tidy, because I need to tidy up and organize some stuff. Oh, saucepan. Oh, shit. We're heating this up, aren't we? Or you can do it in the microwave. It's no worries. You can do it in the microwave. It's no problem. Um, if you just want a heat-proof bowl, like a glass bowl or something. Yeah, I've got a... I still don't know if it's big enough. I've got, um... It says microwave safe. I've got this. Yes. I don't know if that will be That's big cool. enough. That's cool. Yep, that'll, that'll work. Enough. I'll do the same. I got something very similar that that one's a bit gross. No! Right. Oh no. Someone donated a hundred dollars. <laughs> Did they? Who was that? It was Olga. Oh. <laughs> was it? What did he say? Yeah, I just got a hundred dollars. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you go get the chilies back out. I'm glad that I didn't mention it. <laughs> I actually don't know how spicy these are either. Yes. I'll just go. I... <laughs> I don't mind spice. Um, welcome in, everybody. Uh, Tamsin has just received. She made the smart move to say to everyone oh, for a donation, $100 <laughs> donation, I'll eat this chili. Off? And has now yet. received the donation, so now she has to eat the chili. Welcome in. Well, I said bite the, the chili. Three. Oh, did you? I, I heard. I heard eat. Too. Everyone in chat, did you hear eat? <laughs> Damn, 184 oh, kilometers. Good, That's amazing. Oh, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I'm scared now. It's probably not that bad. Let me just get through a little bit first, and then I'll let you know. No, it's fine. Eat that it. the capsicum. Oh, cool. So eat, now eat the whole thing. Just capsicum, guys. I'm going to eat it, and then I'm going to swallow it, and then I'm going to sit there for a minute, and then my mouth is going to go... And you just <laughs> gonna, you, your whole body is just going to go flushed, and you're going to get sweaty. you got to eat the seeds, Tams. I threw the seeds out. Oh. Okay. Um, it's not that hot. It's not so actually hot talking it's about like fitness, skin. we just got rated for a fit for purpose. They have been, so all together, Jeff and Grace, today was nine hours, right? Because when I went in there, it was a sit, they'd been working out for six hours in preparation for <laughs> Is their... it feeling <laughs> are, you, are you feeling all right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like... Oh, it's a little bit spicy. That's actually not spicy at all. I just felt oh like the little tickle was spice. Easiest hundred bucks ever. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> Jeff and Grace, did you end up reach the nine hours? It's incredible. You guys well deserve um, rest. That's that. That's incredible. I just yeah, I'm very very excited for the the event too. Nine hour workout. Yeah, we did three hours on the roller cycle and treadmill. Amazing. Amazing. It's wow. so exciting and so interesting to see the the prep and the lead up to the event. And we're going to be rooting for you. It's very, very exciting. Um, so for those of us joining us, um, Tamsin and I, we are making um, some steak. We're about to grill the steak, but first we're going to be making our sauce. We've made cheesecake that are in the fridge. Um, we've got our fries here. Oh, wrong one. Fries. These are using low carb potatoes. So these are called Spud Light. They're 25% less low, less carbs. Um, and they've just got some spices and things. And we're gonna be making a berry sauce for our cheesecakes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> now, so Tamsin, how are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. You're all good? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> it was like... What's that? Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. It's like a tingle but not like a hot, but I'm like in my stomach. I'm like, is my stomach hating this? But like my tongue is okay with it. I don't know. Yeah. Just one of those things just going to get, you know, grow and grow. And yeah. Grow maybe and I shouldn't have ingested a whole chili. I don't know. Thank you, Jeff and Grace. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for bringing your community over. I hope you have a fantastic night. Go and have a shower and rest. Active recovery. All right. Um, Tam, so we're going to need berries. Yep. Yep. Don't skip water. <laughs> 
She's just a <laughs> silent assassin there. She just, she's just slowly dying, but she's strong. She's not going to show. I have berries. Oh, cool. Oh, I got fresh you got fresh ones. Damn. Yeah, I know. Seven bucks upon it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I like frozen for that reason, but I, I find that frozen berries, I don't know, they just have a different flavor, uh, especially raspberries. Um, I'm going to need a raspberry. But the fresh ones are so good. I've had them out on the bench a bit long, though. They're not as um, So all you're going to need to do is pop them into your bowl. And yep. I'm going to make sure. So I said about a cup of berries to so use the whole yep. lot if you want to. Or you can yep. leave like, maybe leave like three or four for the oh, to top of the cheese garnish. if you want to make it feel fancy. Um, and then like a sprinkle of sweetener of, of your choice. Oh, a sprinkle. Yeah, or a drizzle if you want to use honey. Maybe go with uh, a teaspoon. Teaspoon, even though yep. I'm using a tablespoon. Yes. Or a tablespoon, whatever you want. Oh, stevia. Or oh, stevia, <laughs> stevia, you use half a teaspoon first, and then we can always add more. Yeah, because it like, what does it do? It like makes it melt or something like that. Yeah, and so what you're doing is you're macerating, and then we're going to pop it in the microwave. Um, <laughs> And we're going to microwave it for about, for you, let's go with 30 seconds. You just want to like break up the raspberries to then make a sauce. So you want to kind of mush them a little bit, quite a bit. Like mine is, mine is kind of like the consistency that I would be okay with for a sauce. So you Wait, have you already put yours in the oven, microwave? No, but mine are frozen berries. So oh, they've just been okay. defrosted. Yeah, okay, I'm with you now. I was like, why does yours got juice and mine doesn't have juice? Yeah. Like that. So you could add a little bit of um, cornstarch or corn flour in there. And as you heat, it thickens slightly. But it, you, I don't think you really need to because they're just, okay, you're honey. just basically popping them like as a, um, like a little bit of a sweet sauce with your cheesecake. Nice. And you reckon put in the oven for a little bit as well? Um, for the microwave. Uh, no, then microwave. Microwave for, let's go with um, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Feeling fine, stomach's still fine. Real cool. Alive. Still, still kicking. Still kicking. Okay, Having so flats, for your steak, what um, what's your, what kind of fry pan do you have for your steak? Um, this one. Is that okay? Yeah, nice. So um, I'm using a cast iron, and it's just um, this is like a camping one. Um, you can get these yeah. relatively cheap at Kmart in the camping section. They don't have to be expensive. Yeah. You don't have to go to like a kitchen warehouse or whatever. To cook, uh, to buy one of these, they can get them relatively cheap. They're just like um, a piece of cast metal, and they make really yeah. good steak. I only really use them if I make cooking steak or something where I want a really nice crust. But you can yeah. do a really nice steak in a nonstick pan. You just need to get it really hot, so it's like smoky. Really hot. So make sure you've got your exhaust fan on. When as it heats up, when we it like, you don't have to put it on yet. But when we yeah. put the steak on, you want to put your exhaust fan on just for the yes. initial start so that it, um, cause it um, get really hot. So fun fact, my exhaust fan isn't a very good one. No worries. As we figured out when I did that ramen cooking stream and we made a heap of spices and then yeah. put the spicy chicken straight on the fry pan and it went woof in our face. Ooh. And then we like, let's turn the exhaust fan on and then realize that the, all it does is suck it up and push it back into your face. Oh, nice. There's no actual like, um, thing to let the air go out. Okay. It just goes back into your face. Okay. Um, yeah. anyway. Maybe open a window then. Yeah, there's a window open. Cool. All right. Um, so that is, show me your sauce. Um, Can we see the change the camera? Nice. That was good. Fantastic. Yep, that'll be good. Beautiful. So put that aside and you're just going to turn your... Heat your fry pan. 
Heat my fry pan. My electric. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. Right. And grab out your steak from the fridge. Um, we've just recently, with our new house renovation, we've got the exhaust fan put in. It's vented into the roof, but it's not. Um, he didn't have enough pipe to connect it to the outside of the house, so it's, oh, really? it, it like goes three quarters of the way, but it's not connected to leave like leave the roof yet. Um, so we need to get around to doing that. Um, so it fills it's, up your roof with like smoke, <laughs> yeah. Air. But it like it, we've never, we haven't really need, we don't really need it because the house is so open. Yeah. But it's just, you know, um, yeah. We see we need to put it onto the list to, for us to do to fix. Um, or or um, contact. So did you say I should put this on hot or hot. high? Hot, 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 <laughs> hot, 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 and then. Um, Either spray with some some type of spray or oil or something, and it doesn't have to be too high. Um, high. We've seasoned our meat, and um, that's been sitting for what now we're we've been streaming for two nearly three hours. So we probably yeah, so did it like an hour and a half ago, maybe. So that's fantastic. Yeah, it's nice so. and seasoned, and also like I said before, that water content um, is. The salt has been like, absorbed into the meat and a little bit of water. So we're going to pat it dry slightly before we start to grill it. So if you've got some paper towel. Thank you. I should. Oh. Upstairs, I think. Oh, okay. TP, it works really well as well. It's all upstairs. Give me a second. I'll be with that. No stress. <laughs> So guys, if you have any questions about anything we've been doing today, anything, any questions about steak, any opinions you want to share, let me know. Um, BCK, welcome in. Lodge cast iron pans are the best. I haven't seen them available in Australia. Okay, TP, toilet paper. Yeah, toilet paper is, you just got to make sure it's like a, the woven one, like the Cottonelle, is that one? Like that it's not too fibrous, but TP and paper towel are like interchangeable for everything. Um, you just gotta make sure it doesn't um, like leave too much residue or like it, it doesn't, like how do you explain? Like you know how it like flakes off and when you pull it like that, you want it to be able to come apart. So buy the more, like the, the, not the cheaper toilet paper. I don't have any. No stress. Yeah, left. And my, toilet, my toilet paper is the stuff that's probably going to um, do exactly that, you said. But anyway. Yeah, all good. No stress. We'll then we uh, don't have to do it. We'll It'll be fine. It. All good. I'll do it lightly. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Bit of it. A little bit of paper never hurt nobody. Exactly. I'm not going to poison anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn my exhaust fan on while I remember. Oh my God, that one. All right, so what you wanna do is get your pan really hot. Is it, uh, so I'll show you mine. Can you see it's starting to like smoke? I sprayed with a little bit of yeah. oil. Put a bit of oil in there. Uh, mine's not smoking. Okay, we'll just wait a few minutes. And you're saying tap the, pad the, yep. the, the, the meat? Yep, so, oh crap, wrong one. Let's go there. Um, so, all I did is just got the meat like that. Oh, yeah, because you can see over. the. Yeah, you can see it's quite wet. And you just want to dab it off. Yeah. Like that. And that's just going to help um, it make contact with the fry pan so that it um, browns the mallard reaction starts to occur. So it's the amino acids um, changing and what they do and the, they start to unravel and they bounce around and hit each other. And then new yeah. flavors are created and new flavor molecules. And so also what happens is it starts to brown and the flavor enhances that nice crispy shell or that crispy coating on a steak 
is an mm. amazing flavour. So we what what we want to cr um, to enhance that is making sure you get really good contact with the pan, and there's no water molecules in between. No um, water. What if she used a <laughs> oil with a lot higher smoke point though? Um, yeah, that's definitely valid. Um, you, if I you, used she, extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, so um, I, I assume that she was using olive oil. So that's pretty fine. Um, but usually it's not actually the, the oil that's smoking. It's the actual fry pan as well, the heat and the steam and stuff is coming off it. It just, um, but it's a very valid point. It's not very, smoking, but I can smell the oil. Yeah, okay. If, you, if it's really, like if you think that it's really hot. Like, oh, you now it's smoking. Yep, I can see it. So if you put your hand over there, over it, can you feel like it's really hot? Yeah, 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 and I can Fabulous. see it um, actually nice. smoking. I'm just blind. Cool. All right, so what you're <laughs> going to do is go here, and you're just going to put your steak in. You do, are you going to do both of them? Um, I will, yes. Yeah. You just want to give, make sure that there's enough room so they're not touching, They're not because then they'll steam each other. Look at that. My big, biggest thing is I always like move the fry pan and it actually ends up being off where the element is. Yeah, I do get that all the time. And so a lot of people will say to you, they'll have opinions on steak, you know, to flip it, to not flip it. Um, the research that I've done and I've been reading with food science, it doesn't actually matter. It's actually more yeah. beneficial for you to rotate it and flip it because you're cooking it evenly. Um, some people okay. might agree, like disagree. Some people might agree. Um, but flipping it, it not, or versus not flipping it doesn't really matter. It, but yeah. moving it around, especially with an element, um, will actually um, uh, give it like better evening, evening, even cooking. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. So usually what I do is you just yeah. observe, have a look at it to see that it's browning and um, move it around if necessary. But what will happen yeah. is it will release itself. You shouldn't need to pull it off the pan. It will release itself um, and uh, then you can flip it. So if it's stuck, just let it sit there for a little bit longer because then it will create yeah. a bar like a, a layer between it will release itself. Mm. How do you like your steak get to be cooked? Uh, medium rare. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I like it more on the cooked side. Hold your hand up to me like this. Hold your hand up like I that. I can't see you. Oh, okay. Hold your hand like you're giving me a high five towards high the five. camera. Yep. And then, okay, so then oh, use, your, use your thumb. This one? Uh, hold on, let me... S yeah, so uh, use your h thumb to touch your first finger. That one? Uh, first finger, yep. And then push, push on the meat of your thumb. Like so, where like your bit of your palm? No, with your with. See, your, I gotta uh, explain this, and it didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Okay. So where um, with your, you're doing it with your left hand. So with your uh, with your left hand. Sorry, with whatever hand. Yeah. Um, use your other hand to poke the the thumb. Sorry, I'm. This one. I didn't realize I wasn't on camera, so you couldn't see what I was doing. <laughs> no, that's what I was doing. What you were doing? Okay. Like, I can't see. So what you want to do is basically. Like this. Like that, and you want to poke there, right? Oh. So that, that bit makes there, sense. that's what it should feel like, the, that meaty bit. That's what it should feel like for rare. If you touch, yeah. if you get closer and, and press your middle finger, touch it, it gets firmer. Oh. And that's this medium is how rare. It works. And then if, if you want to go, that's um, medium well done. And then that's well done. So the firmer, as you go through and you get to your pinky, that will be firm, and that's what it should feel like when you poke your, poke your meat. Just right? Staring at me going, what is wrong with these women? So I'm going to flip this over. Um, Look at that. Yeah, it suddenly became way easier when I changed camera. Yes, I apologise for that. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean she can't see me? Like, she, you were like, where do I, don't, I can't see. And I was like, why can't you see? And I was like, I was thinking it was your setup. And I was like, stupid, Lauren. Not <laughs> a lot easier. 
So yeah, that's what uh, um, the uh, like a little trick to go by is is yeah. if you press the meat of your th finger, of your thumb, then you'll know what to look for. So I like medium rare, the same. So I go for, touch my middle finger to my thumb, and then you're kind of just going by that. Yeah. When my friends um, explain it to me, I'm like, I don't get it. It doesn't yeah, feel any different. It, it, yeah, it. it's really confusing. But it's one of those things that you get better at as you go. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Um, how do I stop my camera from getting smoked up? Um, I have an exhaust fan over the top. Um, so now it's been installed in the last few weeks. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just maybe the area or the positioning where the camera is a bit further away. Who's Lauren? I don't know, some crazy lady. Okay. The other trick is to feel around your tongue, but that's unhygienic. <laughs> <laughs> I've licked my fingers and played with my hair so much today and I'm like, eh, it's just me. Yeah. And Alpha has to eat it. So. That's fine. And so sometimes oh, uh, if you've got a thicker cut of, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Um, if you've got a thicker cut, what you can do is hold it on your tongs and hold it to sit so it's like holding it like out like that. like seal the outside or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you like seal to this is amazing. So this camera that you guys see, this one here, this is just a GoPro. It's pretty good. Nice sizzle. The left one's cooking better than the right one, but that's okay. So as I mentioned before, oh, my, yeah. my things, like my tips to steak, obviously this is gonna taste different and not as good in, in compared to doing it on the grill or the barbecue, because mm. you get that like mm. wonderful charcoal-y like flavor, um, or that grilled flavor. But one of the things is seasoning, uh, seasoning at least an hour before you cook it, and a lot of salt, a lot of pepper. Um, uh, a really, really hot pan, and then making sure you're letting it sit and you're making it, cooking it on one side evenly. Don't you move it around the pan as you need, flip it if you need it, um, but just give it time to sit. And then in a few minutes, we're gonna take it off, we're gonna cover it with some aluminium foil or tent it with like a, a cloth or something. And so that's gonna help maintain the moisture. And what happens is, a little bit of food science that I've learnt. I, I'm sorry if you guys are not interested in the food science and it's, it's not... It's interesting. But what happens is the juices actually thicken inside of the meat. It's nothing to do with um, a common uh, misconception is the, um, the protein and the, the tendons start to relax. It's nothing to do with that because um, once the meat is butchered and killed, it goes through a stage of rigor mortis and the meat actually doesn't contract and, and twitch anymore. Um, the actual reason for resting is the juices will thicken inside of the, uh, the steak and you let it rest. So when you cut it, it doesn't ooze out. It retains the moisture within the, the cut of meat. Does that make sense? Um, mine's thinner than yours, so I think mine yeah, so would I would say take what yours what out now. I'm going to stop mine yeah. as well. Sorry, I was kept talking. Yeah, I was just like, mm, I think I should stop mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just cover it in oil. Um, yep, put it on a plate or um, cutting board or whatever. I think that's okay. Chat, do I get your approval? Is that okay? Nice. Looks good. Good. Amazing. Yeah, I got thinner porterhouse, I think. Yeah, I, I was looking at mine before. It, I, I, this is actually abnormally thick from me as well. The cost of meat and groceries is just going ridiculous. These well, it was two, like 15 bucks for one thick piece, and I was like, oh, this, this steak, too small. For two of these steaks is $23. And we, yeah. Sid and I will probably eat like half of these, half of one. Yeah. Depends on how we feel. Um, cool, so tent it and... Oh yeah, and I took the fat off mine as well, that's right. Yeah, 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 true. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to let them sit for about five minutes. Easy, get our chips. Yes. Oh, 
How yeah. are you feeling? Are you a little bit more, like, have oh. I helped at all? Are you feeling a bit more confident with your steak cooking? Uh, my chips are a bit brown, but, you know, it's fine. Um, let me... It's, uh, remember, it's a season. I don't as want well. to take them out now. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Sounds good. I mean, the... Oh, no. Hey, no, that's good. That's good. Don't stress. Look at mine. Mine are dark as well. Yeah, yours are still nice. No, 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 no. Look at them. They're definitely crunchy. Definitely crunchy. See, look. Mine actually, they can mine look, mine look a lot darker to me on camera than they do to you. Yeah, a lot of it is the paprika definitely. and the cumin. Don't stress. No, they're fine. They're just crunchy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hot. Um, so, did you buy parmesan? Yes, I did. And then parmesan, a little bit. I usually use parmesan cheese and um, mozzarella because parmesan cheese you can get quite a lot. It's quite light, so yeah. Okay, I wasn't because I wanted get to. Quite sure. lot. Okay, cool. Um, and then a little bit more um, parsley. We're gonna chop as well. Shit, did I get enough parsley? All right, I gotta. Oh no, I've got some. Don't worry, I don't have to go outside again. <laughs> Don't taste burnt at all. Nice. Mm -mm. It's, it's a common thing. I freak out as well, but it's a lot of it to do with the spices that um, add flavor, uh, add the color. They definitely taste, taste burnt. <laughs> Did you say they don't or they do? No, they do. They do. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's a fine. You got distracted. That's all. They're not soggy. They're overly <laughs> crunchy. Just add some cheese and some parsley and hopefully we can fix it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, okay. They're edible, that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me get my palms in. Oh, it's palms and cheese. Okay, um, what are we doing with these? Are we mixing putting them in the bowls? Panther, you no, cannot jump up there. Um... It's up to you. What I usually do is I just do them on the tray. They kind of look like rustic okay. and fun. Hey, okay. Chess. Rustic, fun chips. Less cleaning. Yes. That's what we're about. Hold on. Yeah, so like look at that compared to that. <laughs> okay. Parsley and uh, coriander. Yeah, so like that, fair parsley, and then great cheese over top. Oh wait, Olga hasn't had a, a HSP. Do you like HSP? Me personally. Yeah. Um, I I am not a huge fan of like saucy things because I don't like soggy. Like I don't like food that goes soggy. I do yeah, like, like HSP, coverage. but I have to be like I'll eat the. The bits on top and then I'll give the rest to my husband um, yeah. to eat like the soggy chips. But yeah. I, I do love the flavours. This is me lazy chopping. <laughs> so what you do, you just mix all yours up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Rustic. Yeah. Yes, not bad. Rustic. That's it. The chat. Not bad. You don't and see then it. a little bit of extra salt, just great um, on top. If you need. Don't laugh. You gotta eat this. You gotta enjoy it. <laughs> you gotta pretend it tastes good. Panther's actually legitimately trying to jump on the bench now. And then there's no space. Sometimes um, with really potatoes, good. I'll add a little bit of MSG. Um, it's a, <laughs> yeah. a lot of people misunderstand MSG, but yeah. do your own research to your own opinion. I won't tell you what people, what to look, you know, what to believe or what to think. But I like it with potatoes, especially just like a regular salt. 
The chips aren't hot enough to melt the cheese, but that's fine. <laughs> 